Welcome. In front of me is a Vivo X80 Pro and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now typically I would show that the device is locked but I'm trying to record this I, I think the third time. So I'm gonna just, just get straight to it and only point out that device is locked from this icon. And that's basically indication that the device is locked. So anyway, to get started if you're on the first setup page, progress through it just a little bit. Then we get to the Wi-Fi connection page. Here, connect to some kind of network. And once you connect to network, just ignore searching for other stuff. Just go back to the first page. There we go. Select auxiliary settings for reading, talk back, turn it on. Now I want to mute the talk back just so I don't hear it. But once you see this page, welcome talk back, you want to draw a mirrored L on a screen. Like this. Then double tap on the first selected option, select it with this green outline. Then select use voice commands and before you actually double tap on it to confirm it, I'm going to quickly say, I'll go over what we need to say. So when you double tap on it, you will hear, hear a beep. And when you do, you want to say open Google Assistant. From there, you will hear another beep that accepts your voice command. You will hear another beep, a third one, uh, that will then indicate that Google Assistant is now listening to you. And you want to say open YouTube. So now I'm going to go over this or go through it myself so you can see how it's done. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. Now something glitched out. Uh, I was missing the exception beep and then another beep for Chrome for some reason. So there was barely even one beep uh, for the thing. But you could see a green dot and then when Google Assistant showed up, you could kind of see that it's listening to you. Hopefully for you, you can hear all the visual, oh, not visual, but uh, auditory cues. So you know what, when you need to say what. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, from here, uh, we will need to suspend talkback and we do so by simply holding volume up and volume down. Press and hold both Select volume, turn on, double tap and hold them again. Now that the talkback is off, you want to select account icon, select settings, about, and Google privacy policy. Then in Chrome, obviously sele uh, select accept and continue and no thanks, and then navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. So there we go. From here, you want to select consent, scroll down to settings right here, scroll all the way down to system, reset options, and from here, you want to select reset all settings. Select reset all settings, do that once more. So we'll start resetting the settings and then reboot the device, which will obviously bring us back to the setup screen, at which point we will need to repeat the steps that we have just taken to get to our browser. So if you will need a, uh, need this guide again, uh, start the video over, or you can just maybe try to follow up with me, but I'll be going this time around a little bit faster through it, just so I can save a little bit of time here. So uh, we will need to now connect again to Wi-Fi because by resetting the settings, we have uh, forgotten the network, basically. So again, I'm gonna select my network, sign into it. And again, I'm just gonna go back to the first page. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Open YouTube. Opening there YouTube.
Press and hold both volume. Turn on. Talk back off. Okay, so now that we're back in our browser, back uh, on the hard reset that info page, from here you're gonna scroll down a little bit lower to this page right here, screen lock uh, set menu, and then you want to choose some kind of way of uh, protecting your device. Now, I see this is kind of weird. Okay, then. so. Um, Looks a little bit wonky in terms of icons, but I guess it still works. So we have pattern, pin, or password, basically. Now, I know for a fact that this device right now is locked with a pattern because I have chosen it myself to lock it that way. So I will now choose something entirely different like pin, just so there is no misconception here. Though I guess now would have been a great time to actually start from the beginning just so we could have seen that uh, pattern before, but I guess you just have to take my word now but yeah anyway we're gonna select pin and i do recommend you selecting the same option it's gonna make it a little bit easier uh, later on so select your pin i'm gonna choose a very simple one i do recommend you choose the same one so one two three four go next one two three four repeat that one and confirm it this will set up our pin and from here once we have set it up, uh, I'm gonna skip whatever the heck that is. And I'm gonna quickly check something. Okay, so now that our pin is set up, we're gonna back out to the beginning of the setup and we're gonna progress through the setup. And as you can see, it's telling us to verify pin. Like I mentioned before, I did lock it using pattern. So by us uh, changing the, or setting up a pin as a locking method for the device, we basically overrid the previous verification method with this one. So it looks like the phone can only keep one of them and we forced it to have a new one, which is our own pin that we have chosen. So from here, all you need to do is select one, two, three, four, select next, and this will unlock the device. Now, it is still recommended uh, to reset the device just for like absolute certainty that, the, that it is fully unlocked. Though I think it might not be that necessary, but I'll still show you where you can find this option just so you can uh, perform it just in case. It's an additional step. It will take a couple more, uh, couple more minutes to, to do this. Uh, but at that point, you can be absolutely certain that the device is fully unlocked. So once I gain access to the home screen, I'm gonna show you where you can find it. So from here, you will navigate into the settings, right over here. Scroll all the way down to system, select reset options, and then choose erase all data, factory reset. This is the last uh, step. Though, like I said, it might not be absolutely necessary, but I would still recommend going through it just for that uh, reassurance. So anyway, with that being said, this is how we can bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.